I have it from a very reliable source point. Mm -hmm. It's... Thank you, Senator. My assistant, the Hutu power man, he says that we must get out now, that soon it will be very bad. Give me this man's name. But please, Paul, even though he is in Tahamwe, he's a friend. He wants your job, Thomas. He said that there is a signal. It is called the tall trees. And when they hear the signal, the militia to go to war. Paul, please, let us take Tasiana with us. You are Hutu. You will be safe. It ends. I know you have heard many things. And I know what we have seen, Thomas. But please, the United Nations are here now. The world press are watching. The peace has been signed. Let this process work. What was that? The power cuts. We are running on generators. Students, please don't worry. Tomorrow you will come by the house and we will discuss this with Tassiana. All right? Boy, motherfucker, huh? Pale, pasty, pastrami eating cracker, motherfucker. A hundred bucks say I make you my bitch. I got a bet. I come in this game right now. Same score, but we play black guys against the white guys. <laughs> Damn your price, cracker. No money, no money for these courts. Right here in front of everybody. You pack up your shit and get your black asses out of here. Hey, man, fuck that. Take this bitch. Eight to six, our ball. Let's go. Yeah, is the back open? Uh, my, my, just my crew back there. Still need to look. Go ahead, it's open. You know this isn't a bank. There's nothing to steal here. We're not stealing anything. Then why are we here? We're fighting a war. We're taking back our country. From who? Just relax. Just relax. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm trying to stop this thing. I need your help. Go to security. After Tony Almeida. Now go. Go. Man, what are you talking about, man? Who are you? I'm working undercover. Now go! Man, you work for the government? And you let them kill Danny? You son of a bitch! <laughs> Sorry about your friend, but we are in a very serious situation right now because these guys are going to be back in a minute. And if you're still here, they will kill you, and I won't be able to stop them. Do you understand? <laughs> so please, get that message to Tony Almeida. You were looking at this thing all wrong. See, God gave you that body and mind to do with as you see fit. You know, you're going to trip up every now and then, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. It's whether or not we learn from them. That's what counts. And if you believe in your heart that you are doing the right thing, then everything will be all right. You understand? Don't be afraid to talk to them. knows what you need before you even ask. You're the director for the CIA. That's right. I hope you are here to tell me that the chemical plant has been destroyed. Actually, I came to talk to you about the personnel there. Why didn't you tell us? Tell you what? That there's 150 slaves working in the building. Your people. It would only have confused the issue. This war is new to you. But ours has been going on a long time. You will discover that you cannot save everyone. The villages are gone, their families, their lives. They are already dead. I've seen them, Mr. Kasana. They're very much alive. And many of them are children. Good intentions and indecisions have caused more pain in the world than anything that I may have done. I'm not indecisive. I know what we have to do. 
I just wanted to make sure you did. Ali? <laughs> Look at you. <clears throat> and who are you? I'm the arresting officer. Who are you? I'm her stepbrother. Now, can I have some privacy, please? You didn't say nothing, huh? My, my, my. We just keep missing it. Why? The golden rule. I left Horses headquarters this morning with $37,000 loaded in my bag, and by the time the cops were through with me, I only had $30,000 left, so <laughs> who do you think's gonna take the fall for that, huh? Me or the cops? Where were you taking the money? Well, the judge owes the heads of the wards, you know, the party folk. He has to fund the sample ballots. There's, there's election day workers to pay. You'd think after buying his appointment, he wouldn't have to buy the election, too. When do they stop leaning on him? <laughs> when he's elected. I mean, it's all legal. That's how you get elected. Him and every other judge in City Hall. Look, people vote for names they've seen before. That's where street money comes in. And if that money doesn't get spread out today, the judge is going to nail my ass four ways to the cross. You know what? And don't think that he won't. Do you have the return of property receipt you signed? I didn't look at it all that close. Only 30,000 is logged. You know why I didn't steal that money? Because I'd never get away with it. Hey, James, come here a sec. Yeah. For this it's right here, it would be with an apostrophe or no apostrophe? It would be with an apostrophe because it's a contraction. It, it is. Oh. And you know, it is time for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I love you. I love you, too. Mm. See you in the morning. All right. <sighs> Look, I did take it a little easy. But I, I couldn't just... Couldn't what? I had to hit him some. Then what? I was swinging a right to his head, and he kind of swerved. And I had him right in the throat. And he grabbed himself, man, and he went down. And I could tell he couldn't breathe, so, so I stopped, and I, and I tried to help him.